on vlog number two again Manchester so you know what time it is centre of Manchester Whew. the ride up these stairs that's on on a dirt bumper you know who it is Whew. like rocky to the top of the stairs oh I'm beat Right, most days, I don't really know what today is. But yeah, we're at the Etihad. Find that bank that I hit when we film with Antil and see if I can throw it on. As soon as I step out the door, I'm so spoiled for location. So even on my way to going to ride like the mountain, I'd have a street spot on the way. As you can tell, my nose so blocked after this cold weather coming in but we move we move had to get out there otherwise i would have just been stuck in all day bored out my head and i hate doing that so yeah but turns out the one that we hit has so much construction going on i can't even get to it but I'm sure we'll find something else this area is pretty dope, so yeah, we'll find it. We'll find it. Oh. Yeah, it was actually in you know, last night when the almighty city smoked Leipzig. If that's how you say it, German guys, I'm sorry. I don't know, but you got smoked over the way here and uh, here's a cool few ledges probably squeeze some out on here yeah Brian. my hands have literally just warmed up as well so see if we throw a bar up at first bash yeah Link up. Yeah. Take that. Take that. And that went too bad. Because I'm on my own, like, holding back from doing anything spectacular, so... Yeah, just know that this ain't going to be bangers, 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 but hopefully it's not fun, so... Yeah. Don't know if it's going to be possible, but... Uh, like a nose bonk through there, but I feel like it could go completely wrong, so... How we want him. Yeah, I ain't trying that again. I reckon I just need to go much quicker than it's on. That crash, even though I didn't hit my head, it's made me feel like pretty sick. So I'm just gonna call it for today and give you some info on basically why. I walked away from Newtproof and, and why I left. So it's a question that I get asked every single place I go and I just feel like if I can say it now then people don't need to ask me and it does stress me out getting asked every single place you go like 
at least five times each session so yeah just get this out and uh hopefully you can make your own mind up on it so. there it is uh i don't know how good the audio is on gopro but the simple answer to why i left newtproof was my contract was with wiggle um, the way I see that was my contracts with Wiggle, everything's came out, probably time to distance myself because I know I was the newest rider to the team besides Alex Alanka and they have riders there that have been there for years. So the way I saw it was like the money is going to go straight to them next year. Uh, the chances of me having a job with Newt Proof was kind of impossible or it just didn't seem like it was going to work out and I knew it this, what I've done this year and how I've gone about this year there's area for me to work with a different brand so the way I saw it was jump out now and yeah just start doing my own thing so starting the year we hit it off lighting like even though we announced I was riding for New Proof in March I had the bikes from the end of December, start of January, so I went out to Barcelona with my friend filmed some footage that was supposed to be for the drop of New Proof. Find the far out. Find the police. Find the Philadelphia that bitch right into your mind. I just didn't like the video so me and Noah went in with the snow video which personally I think that's like my favorite video and Newtproof funded that and they were super supportive and that was the first time for me where a brand has came in and supported me with money to go and make my own projects and, and do my own thing and I think allowing me to work with Noah as well that was awesome and yeah it was kind of a pull to get that in place but yeah, we made it work. Twenty twenty three. Let's go. Whew. Anything I had creative, I'd ask them and, you know, it was supported, so before that, riding with the previous brand, I didn't have anything like that, nothing in place. Snow video, happiest I've ever been, like, best video I've produced, and the fact that took 15 minutes to film, it was a quick call, like, saw it was snowing, rang up nowhere, I was like, i got a track that in mind, and yeah, let's just hit it, and yeah, like, filming that day was just awesome. We nearly got stuck in the forest and filming with like ranking that was just an awesome experience because everyone knows that ranking's such a well-respected videographer and well-respected creative in mountain biking and collaborating with him to hear his vision as well as having will brignall on hand it was like yeah it's just a perfect mix of creativity um the video was awesome came through steaming on the megawatt which is such a sick bike like unreal bike and yeah it's a uh, sad to say that i won't actually be on that bike next year so we move <laughs> thing that I was allowed to do whilst working with Newtproof was shooting with Will Brignall all the time like they paid for every shoot and every piece of content that we see in, in photo form that all came from Will and he is 
honestly the best photography you'll ever work with like unreal knows what he's doing before you even turn up on the day like all the shots get banged out within an hour everything is just yeah it just runs so smooth and i'll post some of my favorite photos so yeah running on from all this it's like as soon as that came across that wiggle was going into administration i just had to think quick like I had two months to decide what am I going to do next year and I want to continue being a professional as every professional does. Luckily when I got out it was like two months of negotiation period before you find out and if you don't know every rider signs their contract for January so contracts run from January to January and I just needed to get covered for something next year. At the moment I've not actually like signed the dotted line for anything but I have two brands that are really interested in supporting me next year i just need to figure out what would be best for me and maybe some would say just jump into it but you've got to realize as a professional rider everything becomes business and you need to realize what can be secure for you and you know what doesn't really work for you i know working with two brands now that what doesn't work for me will get left behind like i don't want to repeat history but yeah, going forward, I definitely need security within a brand to be allowed to do what I want. On the whole, a huge thank you to everyone at Newtproof who allowed me to be part of uh, such a dope journey. And yeah, it was by far the best part of my riding career. But yeah, we'll always be friends. And yeah, I learned a lot working with the brand and I'm currently slipping all over the place trying to get out of it. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. And uh, on to the new journey.